This film describes a muffle oven, developed for the purpose shown. A steel drum forms the outer carcass of a small furnace, with an industrial vacuum cleaner blowing air beneath the fire hearth. The drum is lined with fire bricks. Looking into the drum, we see the air delivery holes directly under a steel grate, on top of which is a steel plate. This supports the actual muffle oven, consisting of hollow seal section 100mm square. Basalt chippings cover the hearth to isolate it from the fire and prevent it burning away. Steel flats are used to adjust workpiece height within the muffle oven. Newspaper, wood and coke are loaded into the furnace ready for lighting. Two development firings were carried out before a third which is the basis of this show. A clamping jig takes two comb segments to prevent them distorting during heating and cooling. It consists of three steel plates sandwiching two frames which surround the combs. Slots in the steel plates allow for temperature probing at tooth roots and tips. Slotted plates fit over tooth root slots and tips to prevent distortion. Within their protective frames are teeth for repairs to a broken comb and a segment of 25 teeth for a new musical box. When reassembled, the clamping jig fits into the oven as shown. Combs are made from ground flat stock, which needs to be hardened, followed by tempering to remove brittleness. This graph gives a temperature time profile for these treatments. Briefly, the workpiece is heated to 800 degrees centigrade, quenched in oil, tempered in molten lead for 60 minutes, and finally cooled naturally. For control purposes, time and temperature were plotted as a firing progressed. When all is ready, the fire is lit. Air is blown to produce dull red heat at the oven walls. This is the stage at which hardening is commenced. Having achieved dull red heat in the oven, the clamping jig is inserted and the timing started. This is dull red heat, leading to higher oven energy levels equivalent to workpiece temperatures of 400 and 800 degrees centigrade. Notice the uneven distribution, also the rise in height of the heat source as heating progresses. These aspects will be discussed later. The major transfer of heat energy to the clamping jig is by radiation from the walls of the oven. The jig is turned 90 degrees every two and a half minutes to even out application of power to the faces of the workpiece. Temperatures are taken every five minutes and air is controlled to achieve the required temperature time profile. As the fire progresses up the furnace, steel flats are added under the clamping jig to utilise maximum power of the furnace. When the workpiece reaches 800 degrees centigrade, it is removed and quenched in three gallons of engine oil. Volatile components of the oil are seen igniting. Not to worry, it takes about two and a half minutes to cool the workpiece to around 50 degrees centigrade. This temperature is confirmed by taking the oil temperature. After hardening, resulting brittleness is removed by tempering at 328 degrees centigrade in a bath of molten lead for 60 minutes.
Finally, the jig assembly is cooled in ambient conditions before removing the combs for cleaning. We shall now consider results of the three firings. The first was to see if 800 degrees centigrade could be achieved. Working the furnace at full power, blowing air continuously proved that it could. The second firing was to determine how best to control air and the position of the workpiece within the oven. The profile was being approximated. The final graph shows success achieved by these procedures. One 20 kilogram bag of coke was more than sufficient for the three firings. This oven is recommended for heat treatment of small items. Suggested improvements are to have a cylindrical oven and a circular array of air delivery holes. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the show.